What is up YouTube? My name is Bella. You might know me as only JS. Welcome to my channel. Uh, and today we're going to be doing something I haven't really done in a very long time. A react video, but not just any react video. Not something silly, funny like those TikToks or whatever the fuck. We're going to be reacting to something serious. Gaze. So Middle Ground came out with this new episode called Liberal vs. Conservative Lesbians, where we got lesbians on the liberal side talking about different talking points against the lesbians on the conservative side. Seems very interesting. Um, as you guys know, I've been a lesbian for a very long time. I think I came out when I was thir 13 or 14 years old. Uh, the past few years, I've gone by any pronouns, so I'm technically like non-binary or gender fluid. I'm not sure. I just don't care really how people perceive me. So I'm very much gay. I'm very queer. Um, and I, I, this is kind of embarrassing, I used to say that I was a social liberal but fiscal conservative. It's probably my darkest hour. Uh, I've since been educated and reformed and learned and I'm very much more liberal now. Not even like moderate, liberal. So much so. Um, yeah, so I thought this would be a little interesting, fun watch. I know the majority of my audience is over 18 so you all should be voting. And I'm curious to see where you guys lean, what you guys think about this, and adding a little bit of just like gay flavor onto it sounds fun. So yeah, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, we're almost to 5 million subscribers. Fucking crazy, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video. This is liberal versus conservative lesbians. Let's see what they gotta say. I'm not scared at all. <laughs> the LGBTQIA plus community has moved too far to the left. Okay, with this one, I'm not shocked to see so many people saying yes, but I don't think that they're right. I feel like the gay community has always been left. It's always been progressive. So to say it's moved too far to the left, say that they've gotten too progressive. Like, I, I can see that argument, but that's just, it's always been left-leaning. Let's see what they have to say about it, though. How many letters are there? <laughs> How many? A hundred? It's difficult Seven because, you know, I think what okay. was once like a very loving and accepted community has pushed so far to the left that, you know, we're seeing this massive pendulum swing that is coming back the other direction that is going to put our entire community, unfortunately, in danger because it already has, it, it already has because it has uh, gone so far to the left rather than being a good common sense middle ground that now people who did not used to carry a prejudice against us or have an issue with our community are suddenly finding themselves to have prejudice against the LGBTQ community. We have prejudice against ourselves. Okay, I think that if somebody wasn't homophobic and now is suddenly homophobic, it probably has nothing to do with the community. It has everything to do with themselves. And people who have been homophobic are probably still homophobic. Still has to do with themselves. I don't think it has anything to do with it moving too far left. There's this pendulum swing. Like, it wasn't this loving, always accepted community. Like, it's gotten more accepted as time's gone on. And yes, we have prejudice against ourselves, but that's internalized homophobia. You gotta figure it out for yourself in therapy. That's, that's true. I also recognize this chick from YouTube. I don't know her name. It might have said it, but I recognize her from, from YouTube a long time ago. True. Like, lesbian <laughs> Even YouTube I'm videos. Developing a prejudice yeah, like, I can't point. stand lesbians now. <laughs> Like there are people here, and I'm not, I won't call out individuals, but there are people here that I was friends with, that I literally went on vacations with, Her. that have <laughs> unfriended me, unfollowed me, just for simply standing up to, or standing up for uh, young lesbians and gay men who are calling themselves all these other genders, or because I'm not for children transitioning, or just because I voted for Trump, <laughs> you know? And it's a shame because we want to be, we, we don't want to be rather, we don't want to be a hive mind, right? We are. Like the whole point of being, the, one of the points of us being lesbians is that we're different. Mm -hmm. We have different outlooks on life. We have different talents. I feel like with a lot of marginalized groups, the biggest downfalls to them is simply when usually outside groups create division, a left and a right. The left doesn't accept the right, the right doesn't accept the left. And then that divides all of us. Instead of being one powerful group, it just, crumbles were divided. I think it's unfortunate that sexuality is tied to a, you know, political outlook mm -hmm. to begin with. That is no longer like, oh, Republicans don't want gay people to exist. Like, that's not a thing anymore. And I think it's so unfortunate. Yeah, it's not a thing anymore because it's switched to Republicans don't want trans people to exist. They just moved on to the more, like, least socially acceptable part of the acronym of the community. Okay. How All politicized right. our entire community has become. 
I think it's important to note that. And I don't, I also don't even think that it's the community, community politicizing anything. It's the media. The media for sure is politicizing the community versus the other way around. We're here calling ourselves conservative lesbians, but we're really, like some of us aren't really conservatives. We're just non-leftists. You voted for Trump. <laughs> and we haven't really moved. Like, if people call me a grifter or whatever they want to call me. I haven't moved over the years. I've been stagnant. Like, I've, I've, I am set in my morals. I'm in my mid-30s. Like, I know where I'm at. Okay. All right. Good for you to be set in your ways. Personally, I'm, I'm a little different. I, I, I've definitely changed my political views over the years because I grew up in a very conservative town. And then I got to leave and go to college and actually learn about the world. And, you know, I've, I've definitely leaned more left over the years. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take a political compass test for you guys one of these days. That'd be cool. Uh, just okay. and continue on. Mainly the LGBT, whatever community, lesbian. moved further and further left. I stayed where I was, and somehow I was the one that was ostracized. Well, that's because what used to be moderate is now considered conservative. conservative. And what used to be your general liberal, which I think a lot of us at one point probably aligned ourselves with, is no longer that. It is so far past that. Which, I just want you know, examples. I had to draw a hard line. I'm not with this anymore. They're talking in very vague terms. Beliefs. I want the actual physical examples. Still think this way or be this uh, be gay and think this way. So it's just really sad to see. And I feel like you can be you gay know, and think at all sorts of we, ways. Our community has been used so much to push other things. Like 100%. we're being used as a shield. So everyone. Queer for Palestine? Agree with that. Really? Okay. Really? Go to Palestine as a queer person. See all what right. happens. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. 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 I don't really want to get into the Israel Palestine conflict right now, but I will. All I have to say with that is we should probably separate the Jewish people in Israel from the Israeli government, and we should also separate the Palestinians from Hamas. They're not the same things. That's all I gotta say on that. Oh God, okay. Now the liberals are coming forward to say their piece. <laughs> conservatism itself means that you like the things that are going now and that traditionally it's going good for you for us um i personally yes exactly that i also personally disagree with conservatism the definition guys the definition of conservatism is to mean sorry hold on i can't type and think of this a conservatism definition it's to literally like believe the first thing that you were taught a commitment of traditional values and ideas with opposed to change or innovation. Yes. It's literally to just believe the first thing you, that you're taught and, and deny any other new source of information. I personally disagree with that. I personally disagree with that because of the things that I have been through. Um, the discrimination from everyone, doesn't matter whether they're left or right or, you know, not part of the community, is not working for us. It's not working for me, at least. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, for sure. You know how they, the left, people on the left have redefined the word woman? What yeah. do you mean by that? A lot of people, a lot of people that identify on the far left, LGBT or not, have redefined the word woman to mean basically anything. Yeah, I'm not so, binary. I use they them pronouns. So, yeah, so there you go. Okay, so you. I also would consider myself non binary. I use like any pronouns. They them is like, not even, I wouldn't say preferred, but it's probably just the easiest. Um, but I also like am a female human, you know, like I grew up my whole life as a girl. So I would still, like, I'm still welcomed in like women's spaces because of that, but I do consider myself non-binary. So you have changed. Or gender fluid. I don't really know. I don't care enough. Of uh, uh, the meaning or the whatever, right? The meaning Conservatism or whatever. is just the opposite of leftism at this point, okay. as far as I'm concerned. So I just want to make sure that so that is known. So what are you known. saying the opposite of leftism? Could you? Cons the new age conservatives are really old age libertarians or like moderates or just classic liberals for the most part. So I just. Just to make sure, like, we're on the same page a little bit. You yeah, know what I mean? exactly. So what I'm saying is that because we are growing, if you want to include more people, because technically the lesbian flag has changed to an orange stripe for non-men, such as myself. I still identify as a lesbian. I'm still here. Can I ask you how you identify as a lesbian when you're not a woman? Because I'm not, I'm a non-man. Because that Okay. I don't, I think non-man is a really weird way to describe woman. I don't necessarily even agree with that. Non-man. That's very, like, that just feels sexist That's a terrible a definition, bit. in my opinion, but... 
It's weird that I agree with her. You're allowed to believe what you believe because I believe in freedom of speech. So I believe in including everyone. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what other people go by. I think that being left and having this conversation to left means that we don't care anymore. Everyone can be a part of the community, no matter who you are. Labels don't matter as much as you know they did back then because it was only the LGB. When we're moving towards the left, you know, at first it was actually GLB, but the gays gave the lesbians the first like um the first letter as like a support symbol as like a thank you symbol for helping them so much through the aids crisis like the lesbians were the ones taking care of gay men we're moving towards the you know the future including more people sometimes gatekeeping is a good thing though yeah and sometimes segregation is a good thing why well <laughs> why well how okay so no, you're no, saying, i'm talking a lot yeah. you're saying that like you guys are opening, accepting more, Absolutely. everything like that. So where's the where's the line then? Because then we have there straight no people. Line. So so then you can accept. Why have people. a community if there's everybody's in the community? If you okay. First of all, you should be able to accept straight people, even though you're gay. They're not necessarily a part of the community, because it's for. Gays. That's just a weird self little twist of the community, Then we're all there for each other. Yeah. Doesn't if if you're straight and you identify as straight, you are not part of the community. No, I do not, not identify as straight. I identify as a non-binary lesbian because the lesbian community has accepted me because I don't feel comfortable in my gender identity. Because growing up, I didn't feel you know accepted in the lesbian community. So now that we're moving left and we're accepting more people into it, I'm finally accepted in the community. People, you know, actually do accept except non-binary lesbians. If you don't identify as a woman, and a lesbian is a woman who loves another woman, then why would you not identify as queer? And yes, we're going to labels here, but like genuine curiosity, I'm trying to understand, because yeah. if a lesbian is no longer a woman, kinda like queer. you're sexually attracted to another woman, then a lesbian can be Anybody. Anything. Anybody. Anybody. Man. Which is literally man. what's happening yes. in, in the world it, right now. That's the problem. Like there straight up dudes be. that are not trans women, Straight up dudes going on lesbian dating apps. Oh, yeah. But they do that because they're creepy, not because they think that they're a lesbian. Like, I've seen that on dating apps, like... You and, and calling us transphobic and... Yep. I think there's a bit of a gray area there. If I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, no, no, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm under the impression that with non-binary lesbians, there's a bit of a gray area because uh, you can often have a very similar experience than yes. um, a a woman who is a lesbian being non-binary because if you um because we're all female you can well, say if it, you're okay. a, yeah if you're assigned female at birth and she, you date women and you before you knew you were non-binary you were all um would imagine you were often in lesbian spaces and that's what you identified with so why should you be excluded from that that's community exactly what i was trying to say you are not like i grew up my whole life as a woman some people still look at me and they see a woman and that's fine i literally don't care how you perceive me but i don't necessarily like feel like that but because i've always been that i still say i'm lesbian because i like women I, I get it might be confusing, but it just does it, for does it, does this like conversation necessarily like matter? We define lesbian as being like non-men, loving non-men. I, I think there's a very small subset of people that define it that way. I, I, people, yeah. Non, I mean, non loving non-men. Oh yeah, that's no, totally there's fine. There's different like, people who have, yeah, absolutely. I don't but know I how also, I feel like, Language that. is always conformed around our people and communities. Like being trans and being non-binary is not a new thing. This has existed in like pre-modern society. It's not new. It's always existed and language is always conformed around people. Like, we don't make things up and then people start identifying as them. Like, we can form language to fit identity. And, like, it's always been that way. Although I do I think like people that make up words and say that. That's also true. I'm sorry. No, that's the whole point. Is. There's, there's no, do you know how many words have been made up? Have hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So many words that we use nowadays, mo all words that we use nowadays are made up, but, like, a lot of them were made up by, like, fucking just shake spears made up words. He literally just made up words, put them in a book, and now we use it. Belongings is made up. Bedazzled is made up. Assassination is made up. He made up I? He came up with the word I! Lonely. Addiction. Undress. Manager. Catastrophe. Fashionable. Uncomfortable. We didn't have a word for uncomfortable before Shakespeare. You can literally make up words because it's, it's, it's how you describe a part of the human experience. That's what language is supposed to be so if somebody isn't feeling like man or woman and there's not a word for it they're gonna come up 
with a word for it to describe their own experience. Like, that's the whole thing with pronouns. You don't feel like a he or a she. We use they, them because it's not because we think we're multiple people. Unless you're fucking crazy like me. Um, it's just a word to help describe Literally, that feeling that you're experiencing. Frog, frog, self. What does it affect you? What other people identify? I, it doesn't. I don't. I it don't care. If I'm they self-identify, I don't care. Oh, absolutely. Self-identify as a potato. I feel like a very small group has become the example. There's a small group of left and there's a small group of right that are louder than everybody else, and then absolutely. everybody else yes. is being forgotten. Absolutely. Yeah. I think one thing that separated us is that I think you often, and I'm not trying to just point out, but since you, I am the friend of yours, that I cannot longer support you because you don't support me, right? If how you, do I, how do I, I'm, I'm explaining, you? right? Oh, okay. Because I believe that when you use your voice, you, you were coming from a place of privilege without realizing that the things that you were sharing were negatively attacking me and my lifestyle. You are able to have privilege because you don't show up like I show up. You're not a woman of color, you're, you're not masculine. So it's easy for you to say, oh yeah, this is okay, but you're not realizing that you're forgetting me and my existence and what I might need. We're under attack, LGBTQ. Oh. Okay, wait, I, first of all, I've met the, the person that's speaking, I don't remember their name, but I met them at like a gay prom or something. They're pretty cool. I kind of get what they're saying, but it's weird to just throw that privilege card at somebody being like, like especially another fucking gay woman, like you're just talking under privilege. Like they might have more privilege under you, more than you in your mind, but like you don't, I don't know if you know them, but like it's just a weird card to throw out, especially in this kind of conversation. QIA plus oh. is under attack. LGBTQIA plus is under attack. They are also a lesbian, so they are also under attack. I just, uh, We have 650 okay. plus anti-LGBTQ bills attacking our existence. A lot of y'all talk about, oh, how, oh, it's mostly attacking trans kids, which we all should be pissed. Mm -hmm. If anybody's attacking our kids, we should all be pissed. But 350 plus attacking the LGB, which y'all want to just emphasize and say everybody else doesn't count is it really it's, that it's many this bills? but hold on is it are there really that many bills going around trying to like how many anti-gay bills in let's say 2023 uh it's a trans legalization tracker more than 530 anti-lgbtq bills have been proposed i'm assuming to like stop like pride movements and like gay books and stuff right Congress, which fucking states? What I want to know the states so I know who to avoid. Are these like federal bills or targeting trans transgender people seeking to ban gender affirming care, which is just weird. This is like tra banning gender affirming care can affect a lot of like cis people as well. But yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of bills coming after us. Like we literally are under attack. But we lot. are all being attacked. And so for you to not see that is privilege. And I think that I, I just really need you to understand that. Would you like to comment as a woman of color? Yeah, absolutely. So what, what laws are affecting lesbian women of color? In Florida right now, um, if there's a lesbian couple, because there's a lesbian couple that are going through this right now. Um, right now, if somebody calls the cops on a lesbian couple see, saying that they're being inappropriate, um, they could face jail time. You just know, for someone calling them and having to go through. Okay, I don't know. I think I kind of get their point. They're trying to like pull an example of the gay community being attacked, but that's probably not the best one because if they're being inappropriate, they could face jail time. Yeah, if you're being inappropriate, you can you should face oh, jail that's time. Totally that, that is, is if that is, is then then you text what? me because I'll go <laughs> to the same. I've as never myself. heard it of that, true. and Ugh. there's not many. I, I would I've also love never to heard of it. I like I don't know what they're talking about. I looked up that bill thing. I am an American, and I can read more in the detail about it if I want to. But from getting married, owning my own home, starting my own business, nothing. As raising, a, raising, raising kids, kids. That's privilege. That, how is that privilege? But how she's also privilege? a person of color. I'm a person, a of, person color. of color. I know, but you <laughs> so show up differently than I do. How? But but you but present what? your mask then has no, no Wait, effect so, on that. So since you and I would I would even argue the opposite. Like I feel like because I dress more masculine in my life, I would have more privilege. I'm sorry, my hair's really bothering me. A little side thing. I would have more privilege dressing up more masculine. Like people genuinely, I get sir. All the fucking time. <laughs> it's really weird. Like, 
I don't know, I feel like because you dress more masculine, you might have more privilege than somebody that's dressing up feminine. Like, I don't ever worry that somebody's gonna kidnap me. I'm this giant monster person of a woman that looks like a man. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I'm uh, Being I don't black. Know. I, I am also black, so what, I'm black and Hispanic, so what, Me too. what, what laws are different for you? I would like okay, to. Okay, well, if you want to talk afterward, I got you. There are okay. I am no, on the board okay. of There are no laws that are specifically targeting people, like, in that way, I would, I would assume so, but. I see like, what they're trying to say. Like, they're getting attacked plus socially, but people. not Those like, I and they're talking legally. Like, also, government there's versus, so many like, documentaries. People. The thing is, I think what you're, you're, you want to just battle with me instead of understanding that we just live differently. Our experiences are different. Sure, that's, so all I'm asking y'all to do that, is understand that. We're trying I'm to not trying to take away from no, you not. and whatever, but being able to be in that mindset without understanding any, somebody else's experience is privilege. And that's what I'm trying to I, get y'all to understand. I, I, if I could butt in real quick. Hold on. What did she say? Any, somebody else's experience and able trying. to be in that mindset without understanding any, somebody else's experience is privilege. Is that privilege? I'm not even trying to like question her, I just want to understand. I know what privilege means, I'm just Googling it to like have it in my head. A special right, advantage, or immunity granted. Education is a right, not a privilege, okay. Um, I don't think what she's talking about is privilege. I think it's maybe rude to try and like talk to somebody about their issues without understanding their issues, but that's not necessarily like a privilege. And that's what I'm trying I, to get y'all to understand. I, I, if I could butt in real oh, quick, okay. I just, I wanna go back to what, you know, earlier you guys were saying, you know, kind of the LGB, blah, blah, blah. That's also not caring about the rest of the humans that self-identify as those people. We wanna respect those people. Even if we don't agree with them, we're still gonna respect them no matter what. You know, I may not agree with you guys, but I'm still gonna respect you and what you self-identify as, which hopefully you will do the same to us, which is what you're saying that the left is becoming right. That makes no sense because we're trying to advocate for the change. The right is advocating for keeping things the way they are. Why we're running into all of these anti-LGBTQ legislation, as you put it, is because Things have gone so far liberal that now we're facing this backlash from the traditional ultra right community. Who gives a fuck? Of course you're gonna face backlash. Like, you're finally getting rights and respect and treated equally, and the people that don't wanna treat you that way are like, wah, and you're like mad about that? Which is why all of these yeah, bills are coming up. That's why the bills are coming up. Which is endangering our community as a whole. So you should, I just, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're saying, she's, I, and I think that that is the basis of this. We have gone too far this way, and now this side is coming back to fight us. You, this person I feel like is trying to advocate for staying more in the middle because they don't want to face the repercussions of actually fighting for like betterment. You know, they're like, why, well, let's not upset anybody. We can't upset anybody. Let's get what we want. We got enough. We got gay marriage. Like, that's enough. Let's not upset anybody. Let's stay this way. And like, people are still fighting for more rights because just because you got the shit that you want doesn't mean everybody else got the shit that they need, you know? Like, I that's think just, there has okay. been a lot of progress Ugh. in the last <laughs> few years, well, few decades, and there is definitely a backlash from the far right because of that. But I don't think the solution to that is to say, oh, let's go back and be less progressive. Yes! I, I think we just need to carry exactly. on and there will be backlash, but eventually those people will just get used to it. But I think it, it is a shame to be so divided because that can't be good for the the community that's true but and we also have to take accountability for our own community like we aren't above anybody else we're not we're we need to take accountability and call out when it happens we can't sit here and just be like oh poor me poor me our community everyone hates us like what are we doing why are we why, why are, we why are these laws ourselves? coming up so m most of the laws that are coming up and the reason why acceptance of us has gone down women is and children are being targeted when um let's um, acceptance of LGBTQ community chart by generation. I just want to actually see if it's going down or if they're just talking out of their ass. Because I know the number of people who are coming out as gay is going up, but is the acceptance going down? Support for same-sex marriage.
There it is. I don't know why the website looks like this. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're not correct. The The support is... Support's going up. Support's been on the up and up. It looks like there was a dip in... Uh, what is that? 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019? Before COVID, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, but it's still, like, on this trending thing. So, like... That that's it. Wrong. Don't if mess with the women and children. Women and children, that's not an attack against our community. That's people defending their group of people. You come for someone's kids, there's going to be lots of laws, and I hope that there would. Sorry, you come from women's spaces, I hope those women are going, there's going to be laws. It's not an attack on us. It's an attack on these things happening and why ex our acceptance is going down so much. And I, I think, like, at, at any point. Who's attacking the children and the women? or you know at any point in history something was once considered like too progressive too mm -hmm. radical yeah. and so like in this moment like you believe that which is why i believe that like i'm so progressive because in this moment like this may seem too progressive or too radical or too out there and in 20 years from now like maybe you know we'll be saying like oh my gosh our kids they're so left and they're so progressive and they're so yeah. radical and like we'll feel like they're taking that charge and like they're That's pushing forward. and so like yeah, but like you know at a time like wearing pants was so radical and like you're all wearing mm -hmm. pants for me like at a time like that was that would have been insane mm -hmm. right but like at, like at this moment in time like you know you're sitting there saying that we're being too progressive and like too radical but like there was a point in time when what you're all doing what you're all wearing what you're all saying would have been too progressive or too radical i feel like Correct. i feel like comparing what somebody's wearing to transitioning kids harming children is a big yeah how's a it big harming? leap i was just we can get it okay transition i was i was a kid who thought that i wanted to be a boy I, I legit thought that I was like trans of some sort up until maybe like high school. So I need to think about like what I'm gonna say on that a little bit more, but I kind of get what she was saying about like, we're only getting more progressive, so why not just already be on the side that is gonna be right with history? Like why fight against it? You're only like stunting the growth that we're making as a society. And I also get like, we don't want kids to be transitioning, but that is not what they were talking about. So that no, 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 said, no, the, I don't think anybody's advocating to transition their kids. And if they are, they're crazy. It's not the majority, it's the minority. Don't listen to them all. Oh. Point is like, you. although you guys are saying, oh, be progressive, be open to everybody. Let anything happen, let anything goes. It's like when no. kids are, well, that's kind of what she just said. Things are constantly changing. We're gonna look back and there, think, has, to, there, there has, has to be gatekeeping. There, there has, has to, be. to be. There's kids being being harmed right now. There How are, children, are they being harmed? There are children committing suicide and removing body parts at minors, as minors. Yeah. Okay, also two separate things. There are trans kids who are committing suicide. Another group. There are trans kids who are removing body parts. I know, I think you have to be like 16 in some states to, to get your boobs cut off. I don't know the actual like word for it. Mammogram? Not mammogram. I don't know what it's called. To get top surgery, you have to be like 16. It probably should be 18. Um, hormone therapy, let me actually see what it is. Um, at what age can you start hormone therapy? But that's kind of the thing, like if they're banning gender affirming care altogether, you know those like, there was like a kid, a couple kids at my high school who were just like really short, like short dudes, because they were just starting puberty late like they hadn't started yet and so they started taking like hormone stuff to start their puberty so they could be on track with the rest of the people in their like age group and like if they ban gender affirming care that's part of it that okay you need to be 18 16 to 17 with parental consent that's hardly a kid you start testosterone at 14. um around 16, some doctors are doing it as early as 13 or 14. So like that is messed up. Like kids shouldn't be like transitioning their bodies at that young age without like several fucking checks and balances, like years of therapy and double checking and checking. But at that point, like, is it, I don't know. That's a difficult one. This is what my group does and what I do eat, breathe and sleep every day. And I yeah. see adult detransitioners crying, yeah. can't live their life and on the verge of suicide because their parents took them to a clinic where they got breast removed at 12 years old. Their breast removed at 12 years old? How <laughs> old was the youngest person to get top surgery? 
Let's see, I'm gonna 16, 16. Mm. There's no specific laws preventing teenagers from getting cosmetic surgery, but they do need parental consent. FDA has not approved breast augmentation for anybody younger than 18. Uh, this Miami surgeon performed something on a 15 year old. I don't feel like that's anything that people are advocating for. Like, the, the gay community isn't like, cut your tits off! Like, we're not yelling for that. Like, if somebody's experiencing gender dysphoria and it's going to help, then it's going to help. But they have to be at an age to understand, like, what that's going to do to their body. And if somebody is too young and, like, put their fucking Air parents in jail. Like, at 12 years old and that is starting, people are fighting for those rights. I don't think to do that. My that's oh. disgusting. Our friend Chloe Cole was, was I agree, but that's less than, that, what is that, one, the detransitioners no, are honey. less than It doesn't matter, right? not, It doesn't it's matter. Not. I'm just, we, maybe, let's, maybe, maybe let's the ones start, that are public I just said I agree, though, maybe with the, the kids' no, situation, but I'm just saying, we often target a very low percentage and make it the example. Yeah. And that's what that's I huge feel thing like. Too. Like, I feel like a lot of people get transition surgery, like, go through that, and it saves their life. Like, they would have killed themselves otherwise because, like, imagine being born in the wrong fucking body. Like, I feel like it's helping way more people than it's hurting. Doesn't mean that the people that it's hurting don't matter, but, like, stopping all the progress for these other people that it's helping and it's changed their lives isn't necessarily the answer. Like conservatives and Republicans do, mm -hmm. is y'all target one example, one situation, and act like it's the whole community. I would date a trans woman. I've dated trans men. I feel like dating a trans woman might be harder, just because. I mean, like if I'm attracted to somebody, I I'm gonna like go for it, you know. I just. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd be open to the idea. I just don't see it happening. I love my girlfriend, and I don't think I'm going to ever not be without my girlfriend now. So, interesting. I'd be open to it, but it'd be interesting. Wow. Yeah, you're surprised, right? See, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know. I mean, does she have a vagina? I don't like... I don't like, I, that's a general preference, not, I, 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 Disgusting to say general preference. Please don't call it a general preference. It's a sexual orientation. Exactly. So when I don't prefer sure. vagina. I don't like dick. So when you're saying sexual orientations, you are referring to who you are attracted to. Correct. When you are saying that you do not saying have a like preference a for that preference. genital portion, mm -hmm. that is labeled as genital preference. That's so your label. That's, that's not my label. Sorry, would you mind if I finish? Sorry. So yes. trans women, what the question is, is that's gender. It doesn't matter whether they've gone through their procedures or not. If we're dating a trans woman, it shouldn't matter whether they have a vagina or a penis or anything. So yeah. I should, I should like, convince myself that I have to be attracted to somebody's genital. No! You just have, you don't even have to be open to the idea, but you're the one that sat down saying I would date a trans woman, and then you're the one, like, I feel like this person came up earlier. I don't think they would actually date somebody trans, even if that person had a procedure to have a vagina. Like, I don't think they would do it. Why are you here? You don't have to convince yourself to be attracted to a person's genitals. You're not... I don't date women because I like vagina or that I don't like dick. I date women because I feel the most emotionally connected and I feel like I, that's, I don't know. That's just a weird thing to say you're just attracted not to someone's genitals. I, I personally would I don't date a trans woman, but I don't think it's transphobic not to want to. And because that doesn't define whether that trans woman is a woman or not, just someone else's preference that uh, trans women are women regardless of where they are at in the, their transition. Julia's got a good I 100% believe that. Every answer they've given so uh, far But whether or not is someone is attracted great. to them because of that doesn't That's affect it. who it. they are. And uh, for me personally, um, I am more attracted to the female energy, like presentation and being. For me, it's more about that than what they have down there. For me personally, but it's not like that for everybody, like, right. and, and I think that's okay. I don't think that's... And I'm not one of those people that's going to take away the validity of how somebody experiences themselves. Yeah. So yeah. don't take validity away my experience. As long as I see not, myself yeah. as a lesbian. That's what this means to me. Yeah, it's different than someone saying, oh, that's not a real woman. I don't want to... I never said that. that. Yeah, that's different. Uh, but someone just not 
have not feeling attracted. I don't think that's a problem. Trans well, women are trans women, and, and trans women anybody. can be many different no, I don't think at stages nice. in their life. I don't think it's nice either to just say trans women are trans women instead they, of... Yeah, she are. said that on purpose. Well, she said that on purpose because she said trans women are women, and she was like, trans women are trans women. She said that on purpose. So you're not necessarily wrong. You're not wrong that trans women are trans women. They are, but they are also women. If a trans women. woman is a woman, then I can be a trans woman as a woman? No. No, oh, but trans, well, taking, <laughs> woman is an, your, an umbrella me. term. I don't agree with that, though. Well, let me see. Let me give an example here. A female athlete is a female, but just because you're female doesn't necessarily mean that you're an athlete. You can become an athlete if you want. Actually, no, that's a bad one because you can't be a trans woman if you're already a cis woman. Whatever. I, like, trans I, uh, is a category of women. It's such I a weird fucking argument. You could be a blown like, woman, a trans woman. Pink but then I, but and so when you specifically me, say trans women are trans women, you're kind of saying that they're not the same as us. They're not. They're not. That that's that's the whole purpose of them transitioning, right? Yeah. I, I also just want to say that I think that when we're talking about dating trans women or dating trans people, like like non-binary people fall under the trans umbrella. So like like I would also include dating non-binary people. Mm -hmm. Like I know we're, we're thinking about trans women specifically, but like non-binary people are trans, yes. and like they also fall under that umbrella. And like you know, there's, I, I feel like any like non-man dating a non-man, like we now define as being a lesbian. Would you date a, a woman with a penis? <laughs> I, I think that personally, I have a genital preference, but I would second, 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 would you? Currently, like I would say that I have a genital preference, but I would never rule anything out. What like, the fuck? I dated non-binary people. Um, I wouldn't rule out dating anyone who's trans. I think I'm also like a very progressive and open-minded person. Right? I wouldn't say that if I loved someone that I would rule them out for being trans. Exactly. I don't like the fact that you use open-minded, but you're allowed to say that, of course. It's your, it's your yeah. prerogative to, to say how you feel. But to me, open-minded comes across as me being closed-minded. Oh, and nice. I don't think you can, I'm just saying, just saying, like I'm not closed-minded because I have a sexual orientation that's monosexual. You're not closed-minded because you have a sexual orientation that's monosexual. You're closed-minded because of the way that you speak about other people that have a different fucking experience than you. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, I agree one is not better than the other, but we can all have our preferences, right? I don't agree that trans women are women. Mm. Trans women are trans women. Trans women are men who have suffered through gender dysphoria, who have transitioned into presenting as women or going through surgeries, taking hormones. That is perfectly fine. There is, yeah. They are completely valid in who they are. But it's also okay for me to have a preference, meaning I'm not interested in male anatomy. Now, I have dated trans people before, trans men. That's great. I love that. When you dated those trans men, though, did you were they okay with you just calling them a trans man all the fucking time, or did they ask you to call them a man? But trans women, it doesn't do anything for me. That doesn't make me transphobic, which is why I say no. This not because you don't want to date a trans person doesn't make you transphobic. The fact that you're saying that they're not women is transphobic, though. You're denying them that validity. Ah. I feel like people are born with so many different things that could possibly go wrong with them and the idea of a hormone imbalance or something wrong in the like something going on in birth where you were just born into the wrong fucking body of the wrong genitals is so fucking possible. Somebody can be a woman up here but not be like one. You know, it's just so weird that people not deny that. They're that. bad people. There's nothing wrong with them. They're completely valid individuals. But I also don't have to agree that number one, they're a woman because they're not. And number two, I don't this have to say that I'm attracted to everybody. them because I'm not. I or agree with them. They're not. They're, they're not. fine. But they're not. If you could, because our our definitions of woman are different. Well, so you could say they're women. not female, but they're a woman because being yes. a woman is just a, a gender. It's not That's a good one. biological. Yes. It's Limited not the gender. sex of the person. Yeah, it's yeah. the gender identity. Two separate so things. So here's where we have a disagreement because I believe that sex and gender are the same thing. Oh, if you born, okay. Man, you will always be a man. Now, if you want to transition to be a woman, that's awesome. You can be exactly who you want to be. That doesn't change your chromosomes. Chromosomes. Bitch, do you know how many different variations of chromosomes there are? Like, take a fucking science class beyond, like, seventh or eighth grade. I promise you, you'll learn it so much. The hormones that your body naturally wants to produce. If you have to inject yourself with hormones to become something, you are not that thing. 
what about men that have to take testosterone later on in life? Or like, like I, I like those like people I went to school with that had to take testosterone to like s- initiate their fucking puberty. Or like, I, I don't know. I've never gotten my my shit tested, but I would assume I'm a female human that has a little bit more testosterone running through their fucking bones because bones <laughs> because I am one gay. I'm I don't know. I'm just a little bit more masculine, like just naturally. So I assume I have more testosterone. Do I need to stop taking? Is that what is? Ah! Ah! I'm getting. I'm not frustrated. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's listen. What about intersex people? Yes. What about intersex so, people? Well, actually, like the extremely small percentage. Mm-hmm. Intersex people are completely valid. But that now you don't want to talk about the extremely small percentage. You you just wanted to talk about all these detransitioners. It didn't matter if it was one percent or not. But now now you want to talk about. You don't want to talk about intersex people because it's such a small percentage. It's Fucking you're much more common. Pick, you're picking than people choosing. People realize there's Especially more intersex people than there are people who are like myself that produces more testosterone. Mm-hmm. All lesbians than most women. No, mine's no. You you don't you I no. Which is even more than I, normal. Yes, yeah, so especially athletes, um, just masculine women. There's women that suffer from PCOS, mm-hmm. I think, yes. yep. correctly. Yes. Um, there's been women taken out of, uh, that have medals taken away in the Olympics yes. and things like that because their like t- hormones shouldn't is decide. There's, your, uh, it's much more common that that those things occur, like especially with intersex humans than people realize. So I'm just wondering how do you feel about that? Because you touched on a very small percentage earlier with the kids, right? So can we- That's fair. Sure. Yeah, can we just, I just wanna know how so you feel I have, that. I have no issue with intersex individuals. Again, we're going back to our orientation and our preference. If I was attracted to someone who might be intersex, that's great. That's cool. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not. Or maybe I've just never experienced someone like that before, and that's fine too. They're not invalid as humans. You probably They're have experienced somebody identity, like that in your life. But and you I don't have to change to my attraction and force an attraction mm-hmm. just to help fulfill someone else. That, but it's not the attraction I was wondering about. It was if they need to take you know, something to balance out their body to be able to present as they're seeing. Mm. How do you feel, do you, are you saying that they're not how they present because of that? And that's what I was asking. That's a really interesting question. And in the case of someone being born intersex, um, which given that is not something that I have very deep knowledge on, and I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. I don't have, you know, very extended knowledge on people who are intersex. But I don't see an issue with that. I really don't. Like, if you have to take hormones to present a certain way, have your voice go up, go down, grow body hair, not grow body hair, okay, then you are forcing a change upon yourself. And that's simply the reality of the situation. Or just balancing out the body to be healthy. Okay, so we could also put this, say, cis men, who as they age start taking testosterone replacement therapy, TRT. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make them not men. That's just balancing their hormones. So yes, I can understand. So then that yes, kind of okay. that can balance. So yeah. You saw the so little that's what light I'm asking bulb you to think about when you think of there. the trans community as well. You get what I'm saying? It's a really interesting thought. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. I, I just that's all I wanted you to do is just consider something that's often missed. Sure. In the case of intersex, in absolutely, I can see your point. In the case of assigned female at birth, assigned male at birth, transitioning, that's a completely different ballgame. I didn't get to talk earlier, but I love women. You know. Um, I I agree with you earlier um, of like I guess general preference but I'm not limiting myself because if I meet a beautiful human I have a connection with we'll figure it out I don't know that's just See, how I, I that feel and, don't limit um, yourself you never I just, fucking know I don't know I just also, I also just think that to assume that a trans woman is whether they have their parts or not, and if they use them in a traditional way, is a little bit gross to just yes. That's not true lead either. with that. Um, no, I, I just, I'm just saying to automatically assume, like, because you went to, are you gonna suck a dick? Are you gonna suck a dick? Often, my <laughs> trans women <laughs> friends and the ones that I've dated don't want to show up that way Most in a don't. sexual space. So Correct. I think it, that's what I'm saying. I think it's. It's gross to think about it like that. I think that there I is agree. nuance to this conversation. I think I have the fundamental understanding that if I'm going to date a trans man, they are a trans man, which means they were born a female, which means they have female body parts, female hormones, female chromosomes. 
that doesn't make them any less of a person. But now, you're denying I can be them what they're polite. trying to do. If I like someone, if I vibe someone, I have no issue using your preferred pronouns. I have no issue addressing you how you wish Only to be addressed. Only if you vibe with But them, I also though? don't have to agree that men and women are the same thing. I also don't have to it's agree so fucking wild. that a so you're man only who transitions to a woman is suddenly full force woman. No, he will always be you want to get in their pants. what he was. Now, Got if it. I want to use she, her, cool. I can be respectful of that. But I'm not going to ignore basic science in order to You're only paying attention to basic science, feelings. though, and not they, going I, 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 have a, I, have a, I have an interesting story to tell, and a lot of people don't know <laughs> this about me, but I dated... You would say a, a trans person is who they say they are, no matter what their transition stage is, correct? Absolutely. So then I have dated a trans man in the past. And, and while you enough. identified... Yeah, absolutely. Trans yes. So then did you see him as a woman? No. Okay. Oh, my sorry, yes. I'm sorry, sorry, yes. Not after the fact. She, I mean, I say she, not because I'm misgendering them, because I'm, otherwise I'd be mis-sexualizing myself, mis mis-sexual orientation no. myself. But... Arr. They presented as a female to me. They were female. They were fully intact as a female. They called themselves lesbians. They transitioned later on. Okay. Technically, I did date a trans guy. Does that mean I'm bisexual? No, yeah. I, I don't think Absolutely so. not. I, they did absolutely clear. not. I'm identify as that when they were... They so I'm changed. bisexual then because I was attracted to a man? No, they, they didn't identify as that when they dated you. So yeah. you're taking But they did. <laughs> they did, though. You just, you just said, said that they, they did Not from later. my knowledge, but they... Oh, well, you're born trans, right? If that's the truth, you, you didn't you're born know, with gender dysphoria, so they always knew that they, they had gender dysphoria. They didn't know. They didn't admit they it. They didn't do it. Internally, a man, whatever. You're just mixing so many things. He was, no, he was saying that yeah. he was like a lesbian when you guys were together. He right? told me he was a lesbian. He present. He looked like her, right? Present as a woman. Okay, okay so then you're like but taking inter- someone's journey and making it about you to be like, oh, I guess I'm bisexual now. Yeah, yeah. that's what. I, no, no but that's that, so, I agree with you then. So we're in agreement that I'm not. Bisexual. You can that. be firm in your lesbian identity, like. Oh, so no matter who I sleep with, I'm. No, I'm just saying, like, despite okay. having dated someone who like uh, transitioned like after you guys broke up, mm-hmm. like you can still be firm in your lesbian identity. Because of the society and the media and everything, and you know, people that are just pushing us down, we them, don't realize that we're trans man. until way later on in life. Regardless of how he identified, I was attracted to him because he was a woman. Yeah, at he the was time, female. Abso- so absolutely. the point is, the whole the whole prompt: Would you date a trans woman? Not if they look like a dude. I don't understand how a lesbian can be conservative. Um, yeah, no. I don't understand how a lesbian can be conservative. I have been, I have been a self-identified conservative in the past, but I always said it was like, I was socially les- liberal, fiscally, fiscally conservative. And I definitely changed uh, those beliefs since, but I I can see how it happens. I just it is a little weird. Cute. I think that She's was a really huge close. question that I really did have going into this, because like I said earlier, conservatism itself is keeping things the way that it is. Mm-hmm. Through the experiences that I have had, that my girlfriend has had, that we all have had, um, I don't like how it is right now. I would love to progress forward. Yes. Again, as a non-binary lesbian, only through the progression did I feel accepted. Did I feel safe? Like, did I, you know, that's how I found my girlfriend, stuff like that, mm-hmm. moving forward and progressing forward. Yeah, the right has famously <laughs> been always against uh, the LGBT community and always, uh, especially in the past, has always uh, fought against um, yeah. Uh, Why would equal you want to be marriage and everything. So, surprises me to see that there are gay people who identify as conservative. Like, why not I, I think it's fine for else. people like, to have pick? their political opinions that are not attached to their um, sexuality, of course. But at she's the same just time, killing it with the takes, you guys. She's doing so good. A party that is, has always been historically. I have not disagreed with us. anything mm-hmm. she said so far. Versus like everybody else is kind of like a mixed Republican. Back. I think. No, I mean, her too. Also, I two like, separate things. Eh, and like being conservative, not, like yeah. truly, is about like, you know, staying I don't like where the whole you are, or, like keeping things thing, similar. Yeah. Whereas like, pro- like progressives like want to progress and like move things forward. And like being the people are Republican for all kinds of reasons. Um, but I think that it is interesting that people can be in the queer, queer community and not be interested in progress and change, like especially as a, like so many conservatives have been so anti-LGBT for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I say the same. I think there's a difference between moderate and conservative and, you know, just 
wanting to live your life a certain way because I know a lot of, I would say, more moderate lesbians that don't want to partake in the prides and do things like that. They just want to live their life with their wife and their kids, and that's very different because nowadays conservative is combined now with Republican in my eyes. And so when you're a Republican lesbian, you're, yeah, you're against the our community moving it's forward like actively and fighting against something and versus just you're being also neutral aligning and not to with the oppressor mm -hmm. and so that's why i have a hard time understanding queers being conservative or slash republican because you're aligning with the I oppressor really see and not say. going against change in the positive direction for our community for sure yeah i get the impression that just because they don't agree with certain parts of our community or certain parts of the left, then they go all the way to the other yeah. end of it, when really that's not really necessary because you can't disagree with people that are on your own side and have different opinions. Um, you don't have to suddenly say, oh, yeah. let's, yeah, let's be a conservative yeah. now. They yeah, like part of I think what, what is so like amazing about being progressive and like being in a community of like, very progressive people is that like you can have a difference of opinion like mm -hmm. not everyone's going to feel like oh, as so left-leaning as i am and like not maybe people are more left-leaning than me i don't know maybe somewhere um but i think that like that's like what's so important that like we're all like working towards like making sure that people are equal and like feeling supported and like can feel affirmed in their identity and their gender and their sexuality and i think that conservatives are actively I, I think work against that. I think that's where I'm. Yes. It's confusing that people who are queer can be conservative. It's a little confusing. Let's see what they gotta say. I like her shirt. Though. What don't you have that you need to progress further to get besides acceptance? Because that may never come. Equality. But what then? In, in, what's not equal? Um, most. I'm gonna say queer in general. The community don't have protections in certain areas, like where you live. You can't adopt, um, or you can get fired on the basis of your sexuality. Um, the uh, things are in place to protect that, but if it's still happening often, then that's why we need to progress to make our life and our lifestyle a norm, so that we don't have to face discrimination and continue fighting I, for I mean, it. So what's never gets like in pushed LA back is supposed to be on. a gay haven, mm -hmm. and I, as a person that has hosted parties there and been a promoter there for 11 years and still and know the owners still face discrimination almost every single time I go there because there's discrimination within our community mm -hmm. and so now I'm, I'm I'm as a commissioner I'm working on that because we have to fight it even in this city that everyone thinks that everyone's accepted mm -hmm. so can I you imagine in LA too, that in and LA I've and what's Hollywood a lot of if that's going on how like it can be in other cities and towns and states for people that. that look like us um, and just well, you know just general like laws, men disrespecting me or my relationship like, like people are that way I don't know general just like disacceptance we're transphobic homophobic what laws I guess what rights do we not have we can adopt well there are many countries where just being gay is well that I understand. Punishable by right. death in other countries, penalty. of course. That's I'm, another thing I, I don't get. Conservatives will always say, like, oh, you don't need to fight for gay rights or feminism in the United States. You guys already have everything you need. And when you're like, well, it's like, what about other countries? They're like, yeah, what about other countries? Like, that's their problem. Like, why wouldn't we try to fight and help and, like, just be, like, a symbol of, like, this is what it should be for the rest of the world to, like, try and, like, f go to that, like, catch up, you know? The United States, but yeah, I totally agree on that. Other countries, absolutely, they need to do something about that. But here, I just don't. Any lesbian couple can get married, have a kid, adopt a kid. But have it's all so new that, that we could have said, that Why kind do of you thing? still need to move forward? Why, why do you feel the need to progress? And I think it's because developed countries are leading the way. Yes. In general, oh, for the whole I love area. her well, so much. Has gone down now. Thinking about so the, acceptance hasn't gone down. Always gonna be it hasn't gone down. Transphobic, yeah. homophobic. That's why it we want to progress. Because hopefully one day, and even if it is 300 years from now, we don't want that to happen. Of course. So, oh, U.S. Why is acceptance going down? Yeah. Acceptance is going down. It's statistically we are the acceptance straight people and anyone is, is it's lowering. Why is that? If we're so progressive, why is it lowering? Because we're going too far over. We are now attacking. Do I need to find another source really quick? Just to double check, um, acceptance of the LGBTQ community, 2022, that's people that identify with it. Um, people that identify here. Yeah, I put acceptance, hold on. 
No, that's identify. I don't want to see identify. Like, more people are identifying, so, like, the accelerating acceptance. Majority findings that the acceptance is going up. It's going up. She's lying. I don't know where she's getting information. She's just wrong. Children's and women's spaces. Uh. I'm going to jump in right here um, because we're not just looking at social issues whenever we're talking about yes. conservatism versus leftism or right versus left. Yeah, social issues are absolutely a part of it. But then we're also looking at, okay, how are we taxed? How is the government spending our money? How much of our tax dollars are going overseas? How are our schools being run? How are our children being taken care of? Do you have a nice library in your town that you can visit? All of that can be traced back to your political leaning. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to understand my sexuality has nothing to do with the way I think the government should spend our taxes. I can understand like a lesbian being a Republican. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can understand like a lesbian like voting for a Republican. Like if that's your perspective on like on whatever else and maybe that's, you know, it's your own, your own prerogative who you want to vote for. It's not like we have whatever, all these choices. Um, but I think that what we're talking about, like being progressive versus being conservative, literally you want progress or you want to conserve the past. What needs to be progressed? Like, in acceptance. our community. Like, well, like, no, 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 no laws doesn't change that. Whether you're Republican or, or liberal, that's not going to, a law's not going to change that. We think about social movements and social issues across the board. We think about the acceptance of black people, of gay people. Like, we, we think about how progressive movements have made us more comfortable mm -hmm. in our identities in social spaces. Okay, then, mm -hmm. there, but there are movements. That has nothing to do yeah. with politics. Can I give you an example? That is, I don't In this country, right? Yes, it does. Laws were put into place so African Americans can vote and be equal humans, right? Mm. And do you not think that those protections put in place allowed African Americans to be more accepted as time went on? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Sure. You say no? No. I was. I'm processing it. Yes. Yeah. I think I'm you're like right. thinking. But I, I, I think I don't completely agree, though. I, I think. But saying totally that, but they're still that racist a people today, so that right, didn't absolutely. fix it. But <laughs> they can't it went come down. for us. Yeah, it, 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 it normalized and, and brought people together and not to see the racial divide as inhum inhumane or I'm, you're not a human because you're African American. That changed. So what we're asking is for equality so that our us as humans are able to exist like everyone else and it's just simple and that we and, and, and that there's a equal ground here like just respect and that's why i'm saying is it's very necessary to put these protections in, in place so we can live like everyone else but we do live like everybody else there's no no you, i don't you being able to say that is privilege absolutely no i'm not trying to do for you it is people are homophobic to me too but it doesn't affect my life i, wasn't I don't that. let that yeah you i didn't think say just, that no no, no. <laughs> um, it's a privilege to not understand Every but other how do you know I don't understand? Because you just said that you well, did. yours is different than hers and hers and hers, and right? Exactly so, what my point was, <laughs> so right? how can you I tell me I'm privileged? How can you feel safe? How can you tell me I'm privileged? I live in Florida and I feel very safe. Uh, you show up differently than I do. And then, very oh, I show up I, I, very I differently than I do. There's a there's more Hispanic people to. in Florida than yeah. there probably are in California. Mm -hmm. Actually, what is that? That has nothing. That's what you're talking about. Is that not what you're talking about? You're talking about race You can walk down the street in Florida and be cool. Yeah. I, because I'm femme, because I'm not like 100% fem, like wh wh where's the I think that we should take a trip about? to Florida and see what it's really like. Yeah. What you hear and oh, what I you experience is all the time, but Okay, then is anything fine. ever happened in Florida? I'm, I'm, those are very protected spaces that I'm in. And oh, then when I do travel around, yes, I've gotten death threats. I've had to shut down events that I've done. I've had, um, yeah, people name me by tell me to pick out a coffin. Tell That's me obviously I'm gonna be not the, okay. But yeah, then I those mean, people are in power okay. is what we're kind of, sorry to cut you off, oh. but those people are in power now. Yeah. Those yeah. people are deciding the future of our country. And that, Democrats? No, those people oh, that are I hateful, swear. that They're are so homophobic, dense, that are transphobic. They're Unfortunately, so those people dense. are becoming in power. We're not saying that the these exact laws need to be put into place. We're saying now people that are following these people of authority and you know are really listening into it, and now these are the only thoughts that they're thinking of. There's no one in place of a power really right now that are pushing for the progression. I'm not a conservative because I'm a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian because I'm a conservative. Hey, I'm a conservative because I agree with more than 51% of the conservative beliefs. Amen. I don't even agree with 100% of the mm -hmm. conservative beliefs. I would hope not. I might even hold more liberal views on certain individual topics than maybe even some of you. It's simply... It's the middle ground, isn't it? Race, sexual orientation, disabilities, none of that puts people in a liberal 
conservative or a middle box. And I think most of our disagreements today are simply just because of language. Mm -hmm. My Ooh, version wait, of woman, your gonna... version of mm -hmm. women, your version of women are all different. Our versions of conservatives and your versions of conservatives yes. are completely That's why I said it was different. important. Yeah. What does this word she mean? She interrupted about? again! What, mean? Yeah. what is conservatism? Stop mean? interrupting! Yes. My definition, yes. by the old school definition, I am a liberal. Yes. I am pro freedom mm -hmm. of speech, pro e equal rights, yeah. pro capitalism, pro free markets. Like, that is a liberal. Yeah. I think it's just mm -hmm. the language is completely evolving. And you just want to be would against. Would I agree with something. conservatives 20 years ago? No. Probably yep. not. Yeah. Of course. But so language, fluidity, right everything <laughs> is just... <laughs> it's it's talking about okay. We mm -hmm. just have to live within our current reality. We can't compare... You can't compare any of us to conservatives 20 years mm -hmm. ago, just like we can't compare you guys to liberals 20 years ago. I'm only 24, so liberals 20 years ago, conservatives 20 years ago, I have no clue what they were talking about. I don't know what they... I don't... I can't visualize it. I'm sorry. I just... I'm, com I'm literally living in today's reality. Pride should be taught in classrooms. What? Um... Maybe the history of Pride, just because I've noticed when I go to Pride festivals and stuff, like people, a lot of people don't even really know what we're there for. They literally think it's just like a big party and it's, there's like a whole history behind it. Or maybe even just, not even, maybe if not the history, the, the idea of just having like pride in oneself, standing up for people, allyship, community, like that sort of thing. Like I... Join a middle ground Certain group, classrooms. Yeah? Definitely not maybe like fucking prompt. kindergarten K through five, but once you get to middle school Lesbians and you're like learning about when you're heat. learning about wars and stuff, sure, go for it. Uh, we didn't get to see that one because I'm not on the Patreon, but let's see. Lesbians can use he him pronouns. He him pronouns. I use any pronouns. And I'm I'm a lesbian. Maybe I'm maybe I'm I don't know, demisexual, which is when you have a preference for people you have emotional connections to, but I, I think tend the to have reason emotional why I set forward is because of women, the idea so that pronouns I equal gender. I think that's also why I kind of hesitated as well, because when you're saying use he, him pronouns, at first everyone assumes it's their gender, sexual orientation, everything. I think it goes back to my belief that pronouns do not equal your gender. I, I, know. I would also like to say I don't go out and ask people to use he, him pronouns. I just get it a lot. I get sir, I get like... Like, my, me and my girlfriend will go out, people be like, oh, is there, like, your boyfriend drinking? Like, I've, I've had gay men hit on me. Like, I just, I'm assuming some people view me as, like, a dude. And I never get offended by it, which is why I'm okay with he, him pronouns. I don't ask for it, but I get it. Same with she, her pronouns. A lot of other people assume, like, fucking look at me. I'm a girl. Fine. But then there's other people that are a little bit more, like, okay, maybe they use they, them. So they ask me, and I have to be like, I really don't care. However you see me is fine. I don't, I don't, non -binary okay. Non-binary lesbians know, like, go by any pronouns. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, there's, any pronouns, you know, I think that there's maybe you meet more non-binary lesbians who use they, them pronouns or use she, they pronouns. But, like, I think that anyone who's non-binary can use any pronouns and be defined as a lesbian. Thinking of you and thinking of my non-binary friends that, like you said, use all pronouns. And so that's when I realize that I agree. I also can see the point of these people that are disagreeing I coming over right now. I didn't step forward I, I, with I the rest it. of my team just because my first... <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> just because you my first thought so was far. of when straight men call themselves lesbians. Oh. And uh, I, yeah, yeah, and I always thought that was so disrespectful and cringy and that, that was my first thought. That's why I was like, oh, no, straight away. But then when you were talking about non-binary people, it's like, oh, yeah, that's true. There are non-binary people who also use uh, he, him pronouns. Uh, at the same time, I still disagree a little bit just because if, like, if pronouns don't equal gender, what is the, point? the point? Yeah. So I feel you. I, I think to me it's a, it's a bigger conversation than just somebody's identity. If we're in this community trying to make the world understand us more and trying to actually be progressive, as you guys call it, why are we just trying to, why are we also being more confusing? Yep. The only thing that that winds up doing is making yourself feel better. Yeah, but I think what you're saying with that is you feel, you know, validity within yourself. It doesn't matter about what other people think, you know, what the um, outside community thinks. I think we should just be accepted of everyone, no matter what. So, you know, even though we have different beliefs, you know, we're still going to respect each other and understand. I get, okay, I get their point, Nazarene's point, with the whole, like, just be accepting of everybody. But it's, like, a little too rainbow and sunshines, you know? And I also get, I don't remember her name, uh, 
I kind of get that point too of like, why are we being more confusing? We want people to accept us. Why are we confusing them more? But I also disagree with them both because like, like I just said, rainbow sunshine, but also like, it doesn't have to, my camera just moved. What? Why? Come back. Come back to me, guys. My point I'm trying to say is like, if somebody's confused by something, explain it. I don't know. I get both. I just I also that even don't get both. Even though our identity, time. we feel validity within it. Doesn't matter what other people think. And I love that. I think that's absolutely the best way to go. I think it's strength within yourself and actual self love and self. Uh, you can self express the way you want. To let other people make you feel invalidated is the worst thing you can do. The reason why I didn't step forward, and I actually struggle with this one because I am all about freedom of speech. You are free to say whatever you want, to use whatever pronouns you want, to present how you want. I don't care. And so on one hand, yeah, a lesbian can use whatever pronouns they want because that's their right. That is protected in our constitution as your freedom of speech. But on the other hand, I am not obligated to validate that. And I'm not, like, in my opinion, a lesbian is a woman who loves another woman. I believe what I believe is a woman. Maybe not everyone here agrees what a woman is, but I believe that. So if I say a lesbian is a female or a woman who loves another female woman, then they're probably going by we don't she, have her pronouns, the, right? I have the right to not validate but then they you also in have that the though, speech. Well. So it's very you can have middle, your own little muddy for me on this one. And not believe you can go else, by whatever same, you want. It shouldn't matter to you. other to other people what you go by. If you are a lesbian, then you are a lesbian. And me as a lesbian, I'm going to support you. If you realize that you're not a lesbian anymore, Honestly, with it's that, fluid. Like, fine. I'm going to support you Literally. no matter what. No matter She's what She's like, gatekeeping is fine sometimes, but not with just being a fucking lesbian. I get like a straight man could be. I've gone through everything like, under the sun. I was a gender fluid lesbian <sighs> at one point. I did use he, him pronouns at one point. But again, through my self identity, I've discovered who I am. And I think by knocking down people's journey and discovery is exactly what saying people who use he, him pronouns cannot be a lesbian because in their own self identity, they see themselves as getting to that journey. And they're going through things that we don't understand. I think that we can both support, respect, and love individuals who are going through their journeys, but also be diligent to protect spaces. That's why we have TQIA plus, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That is why our umbrella has expanded to be what it is so that we can both protect our spaces, but also accept, love and encourage and support individuals who are not quite sure what they are quite yet. And that's okay too, you can you can do both. both. Do you feel like non-binary people are encroaching on lesbian spaces? I just like, wanted to you, ask this too. It's like, like, do you feel like their like like space is or, being mm -hmm. Uh, it depends on what side of the non-binary spectrum they're on, I yep. think. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. What do you mean by side? Because non-binary itself means you do not have a binary. You but are you not still on either side. But you still have a sex. Make it make sense. Let's make, let's hobble all of us together. The middle ground is let's make it make sense before we put... I know exactly what they're trying to say. They're saying it depends on what side you're on. Are you a man non-binary person trying to encroach on lesbian spaces? Or are you a like a woman non-binary trying to encroach on, encroach on lesbian spaces? But again, like the person said, the whole point of being non-binary is that you don't have a middle. And I think they're scared of somebody trying to take advantage of that and then get into that space. But And then the other person is just like way too trusting. Of like if somebody says they're this, then they're that. But like, you know, like I go to gay bars sometimes and I never feel like the gay men there are mad that the lesbians are there. Or or like when we bring like, like straight girls go to gay bars, straight guys go to gay bars. Like it's just a fucking, it's just a better time. It's a better bar. I don't, I don't, whatever. Push everyone else. Ah. Well, we always have work to do. Yes. Right. But no matter what. We all showed up. Right. We all showed up here. We all showed up here. We yeah. showed up. So it's, it's not just like saying you're going to dismiss someone just because you don't understand. It's, it, that's part of the work that we have to do. But you guys that's are why the I was trying, especially with you earlier. We don't. So you guys have to figure it out. We don't. We want it to stay the same. Right. That's but fair. right now. <laughs> not our responsibility. They're trying to undo everything that we did to I have equality. That. And so. They're well, not taking away marriage. So they they're, could. Uh, that's on the list. It's okay. It's on the well, list. We could talk, like you said, you, we will talk about the bills after. Just like interracial no, marriage is on the list. There's no bill out there that is going to take away gay marriage right but now. You, they could. But I'm saying you not being able to understand that is privilege, and that's why I was under. That's I, why I was trying to get with you. I understand it. I'm very versed in but laws and to bills. Reverse it's not privilege. Equ to marriage know equality about that. to reverse interracial marriage mm -hmm. protection is on their list. Sure. Okay. That they would that, like to undo. Okay. I think we so can all agree scary. that that's wrong. That's right. more, that deserves yeah. more than an okay. Hap, but that but warrants a response more than it's okay. It's not actually happening. Okay, so 
But it could. Uh, certain things it's not like ratified. Abolishing affirmative action is a part of that process. So just because you weren't affected by it doesn't mean it's you're not, not affected about by me. It. I don't care what I don't know why it's. But that's all, where I'm trying to get you to see. It's I'm not, not a, a feelings person. I don't go. I don't like laws change and all that based on I'm feelings. I'm not. I'm a fact. I'm a logical person, person too. Well, but you don't understand what you're not I do understanding understand. is being I'm a able logical to have your person frame of too. mind is a privilege. Period. You can have the frame of mind too. You're not thinking about anybody else that does not have the same privilege that can walk like you. She's still talking about access like you have access. Why did my dog just bark? I'm so sorry about that. She's still talking about privilege. Like she's still going on about so privilege. How do you know Not that? Everybody know. How do you Pull know? Pull your way. You, you don't think know what I do. You don't know anything about me. It, I don't have to. It's the okay. way you're speaking so you in your way that you're able privilege. to not you can put a label on me when you know somebody nothing else's about experiences. Me. I include everybody's experience. I just said that multiple times. Absolutely, you're not. When you you're think thinking about you yourself think. and your experience, that's privilege. exactly. I have that's to. Privilege. I speak for a huge so part of our I. community. So do I. Okay. So do I. I don't think so. When you're trying to say that we have enough protections and and enough I, equality where we are. I at. just said no. You're what, not talking about. I said what don't we have? I'm asking what. Don't we have? Do you think that we do not deserve all the same rights as everyone else, we and that we can't, we should not keep progressing to get that? They're really we have all the same rights. They're really like that's privilege. Okay. Oh, thank you. They're really like that's But people not that. in the community that's also don't have rights. Been trying to make. But people you not in the community. And to actually, think that is privilege because not well, everybody then tell me gets what the same. Ah! Tell me what you. rights we don't have. What laws that we don't have? Girl, if she could name one, I'd be more on that side. No, I want to know. No, say it now. Say it now. If you're gonna sit here and tell us that we're missing rights. That we are not allowed to exist. No, some tell us. Not, uh, tell me. Some families, uh, first of all, marriages, uh, gay marriages in certain states are not, they do not have the same benefits. I already shared that with you earlier about uh, gay families being able to adopt. That's I already awesome. shared that with Straight you earlier. Uh -huh. Okay, gay families not being able to be a part of churches. I said that. There's so many things. But that also happens to straight people too. Some certain straight people get married and they don't, they're not allowed to have certain benefits. That, that happens to, that's not a gay specific I don't specific understand the whole uh, marriage thing. I don't know if thing. I could argue on what that. What rights do you, are you to able to get married in this country? Are you able to adopt a child? Are you able to do what you want to do and make content on the internet? I will have. And other people are not, not, but gonna that's have, not a community I'm issue. I'm not going to have the same e e journey as a, a, if I no. wanted to adopt me, myself. Mm -hmm. I'm, not I'm definitely more, I've agreed with more of the liberal statements so far, but this conversation itself, like, I am not agreeing with Amber at all. Like, I agree with the sentiment, but the fact that, I forget her name, I think it's Sasha, this other one, the other, uh, I don't know, she's making a lot more sense by just asking, like, what? Like, give me an example, and because Amber can't come up with an example, it's like, Ugh. I'm not gonna have the same journey as a straight couple of trying to adopt. Of course not, but nobody else, that same straight person may not have the same journey as another straight person. But they of don't course. have all the same biases lined exactly. up against them. There's no them. law Thank that you. you can't do it though. There's no law that you can do it. If What's the bias? If there's protections in place, well, then they cannot If do people it. don't like it, okay, that's one thing. There's no law that's gonna Girl, change Girl, you it. don't be listening. Oh, she gave up. She said, Girl, you don't be listening, but like you haven't really like said that much. Like you said stuff, but like not really the questions or answers to like the questions. Okay, gay men gay are, men socially are more socially than accepted than lesbians. Ooh, okay. I think if uh, if a gay man came out and a lesbian came out, the gay man might have a harder time gaining acceptance from the people around them than a lesbian would. But I do think that it's because lesbians are more sexualized, and like gay men are a little bit more taboo. And I will say that, like, if you are in, like, a gay relationship, people are probably going to respect that relationship more so than if you were in a lesbian relationship. I've, I've seen so many dudes mm -hmm. completely disregard the fact that, like, my partner is, like, in a relationship or, like, I'm in a relationship and they hit on you either way because it's like, oh, it's just another girl. There's no guy to really compete with. Like, it's just another fucking girl. Like, they don't respect a lesbian relationship as much as they would or stay away from, like, stop interfering from, like, a gay relationship. So, like, I feel like it's, like, kind of a flip-flop mix and bag both things. I'm, I'm very hard to speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see what they gotta say. Bye, guys. Bye. She said, bye, guys! <laughs> So, I definitely agree with this. Um, first off, there's 
hardly any spaces for lesbian only. Mm -hmm. That too, Talk that too, there's no sorry, lesbian bars. <laughs> I thought of something, I thought Zero. of something. Zero. Um, also, you know, when you see two gay men out in the street holding hands, kissing, there's not a woman that's gonna be like, ooh, I'm gonna get in between that and I'm gonna, you know, but when it's the lesbian, that's what men do to us. So, mm -hmm. no, that is less socially acceptable. If anything, the, a woman's like, oh, a gay man, let, let's be best friends, let me meet your partner, where guys are like, I wanna be your friend for ulterior motives. Yes. Back to the fetishization. Um, exactly. exactly. Yeah, so that's what we face. So that's mm. a social Speak. in society. Um, also, you, with just spaces, you heard there was like, at least where I'm from, there was like ten bars on a street. They're all gay, gay, per, gay bars, um, which lesbians can go to. But there's one small little bar that's like lesbian only. It's like, I don't know. It's just yeah, yeah. Absolutely. How do you guys feel? Yeah, I agree with it. Yeah. What you just said. Yeah. I think, I think it's interesting, and, and the thought that I had when I was back there is that lesbians are more accepted, in my experience, by people that are not on the left, and gay men are more accepted by people that are on the left. And That's I think actually kind of a good observation. The whole reversal of, I'm trying to think of the word, the, the, whole, re the whole reversal of, um, I can't think of the word, give me a minute. Go to somebody else. It'll come to me. Give me a minute, because I was trying to think of how to say it over there too. I want to know. Yeah, what absolutely. I, um, so I completely agree with you. I think you know, going away from politics and you know, going away from liberal and conservative ideas, lesbians are fetishized. They are. Um, their rights are not being as spoken about as gay men. Because yes, gay men have had it harder in the past. I will say that. Sure. Gay men have gone through a lot worse than the lesbian community has. Mm -hmm. But because of that reason, we've progressed so much in the gay, com you know, for gay men, the, the progression for lesbians haven't quite gotten there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we're trying to do is get to that point where we can have the same progressions that gay men did have. I, I think I that's a fantastic that. point. And I was gonna say, feminism. Feminism, like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, and, and I think it says a lot that you call yourself a non-man, and I don't, I don't think I've ever met a man that called himself a non-woman, and I think that's a really mm -hmm. important thing to note that's going on on one side of the aisle with mm -hmm. lesbians, but not with gay men. What are you talking about? And I think that to me, it just shows that there's a little, a, a, a little, or a lot of misogyny oh. still. Yeah, on, for sure. On coming from the left, in my that's opinion. Yeah, yeah. That, that's actually the yeah. really point. Especially in our community, and the LGBTQIA plus community has had experiences and like negative experiences and discriminations, all of that. But with me as a, like what I, part of what I do for a living being in the political space, um, I see that specifically cis white gay male have it a lot easier than everyone else. Oh, for else. sure. Um, as far as- We've been known um, that. We've been new. Everybody been um, known. Career, finances, access. In America. Uh, it, yeah, in general. Yeah. And so, and that's what I in see. In America, that's what I was talking in about general. With the things that I'm fighting for, I'm fighting for space, because we don't have that. You said you mentioned a small bar. Yeah, yeah there that, really are no, like, wow. But right. that's spaces. where I'm coming like, from as well, where I say it's important for lesbians to have their own spaces, mm -hmm. and to know what a woman is, and to know what a lesbian is, because we have so few of those spaces already, and to open it up to everybody, that everybody's queer now, where's my community? Right, and um, as a person that tries to create space for people, I often have to fight battles of them not want, them wanting to give us nights that are like the off nights, that yeah. the popular nights because they think Wednesday we don't, nights. us as lesbians don't <laughs> yeah. want Wednesday nights or gay nights. To, oh, you know, like lesbian to, nights. I, for yeah, that space, for that night. And are often times I'm finding that my bar percentage or whatever has to be much higher in order to have that space. So then as a person that tries to create space, I'm finding it very difficult for us to have space, um, especially in the community of where it's primarily white, cis, gay, male. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear the disagreeers now. See what they got to say. I think for me, the, this is kind of a very gray area question. Mm -hmm. I think in I media, I like movies yet, and yeah. TV shows, men definitely have it better. There's a lot more gay male movies, whereas I just had this conversation with my girlfriend. All the les the very few lesbian movies that there are, it, they usually end up being very sad and either they break up or one. <laughs> That's so back fucking they go true. Back. Yes. <laughs> They're all this depressing and there's maybe y'all gotta make the movies. Yeah, there's no <laughs> happy it. ending. I'll, I'll, buy it. It. I'll buy it. But like lesbians in public spaces, I feel have it better because we 
we're kind of very masculine forward. Gay men are not very, for the most part, seen as not very masculine. So they tend to get bullied more if they're, even if they're Which not- Which is also a misogyny thing. Yeah, exactly. Like even if they're not gay, mm -hmm. if you're just a more effeminate mm -hmm. man, you're, it's going to be a harder time. Whereas even, I've always dressed very masculine. This is probably my most feminine outfit mm -hmm. I have. And it's fine. I'm not really bullied for it. I'm not That's what in I was trying school, to say, that sure, more but not in real life. So I think gay men have it better in like TV and media it and lesbians have it better. From my point of view in Society. real life, yeah. And I hate to, you know, uh, say this again, but again, that is a privilege. I personally, being a masculine presented, I, I, I've come confident in myself, but I hate it. I hate having to go out and be spit on and be, you know, yelled at from a window because I am masculine presenting. You know how I said because I'm more masculine presenting, I'm not as feared like if I was like feminine presenting? I remembered that I got punched at a, a concert before because this guy thought I was a dude that bumped into him. And I was like, bro, you just hit a girl. <laughs> like, he didn't care, but I will say, I. And that's that's not something that I like thought of. Like I might even be more targeted because somebody might confuse me for a guy. But um, the other day Whatever. on my birthday, I was getting my free pancakes at IHOP, and this man <laughs> came up to me, called me, a, you know, called me these words that mm -hmm. I don't like. Mm -hmm. Me being masculine presenting has even made it worse for me. But I do understand what you were saying by that. I just me personally, well, I don't no. have that sort of privilege, which oh, yeah. I definitely it's wish definitely I did. just. Our, my, my lived experience, I've never been bullied for it, but that doesn't make yours any less valid. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm definitely really sorry that that happened. Yeah. That should not happen, period. Yeah, right. absolutely. But, I'm sure we all agree yeah. on that, yeah. so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why did you disagree? Um, I think that generally speaking, it is more difficult for men to be accepted socially in the real world for being gay, especially if you have a man who is very feminine, um, very like, you know, maybe just not your typical, what people perceive to be masculine. Maybe he doesn't align with that. And I think that he gets a lot tougher from other men than maybe than we do from women. Who's a little bit you know, more I've always been like... very masculine presenting. I have, nobody cares if a girl wears guy's clothing. Yeah. But everyone Whoa, has an issue screen. whenever a guy puts on girls' clothing. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we just simplify it to that level, we can see where societal's, society's if you acceptance is Yeah, at. this person really just wants to simplify everything. If you, if you simplify it to that level, yes. But it, did you hear anything else anybody said? You know, it's it's not an issue for me to cut my hair short. I used to wear a mohawk, wear dude's clothing all the time. <laughs> Nobody cares. But then you put a guy in the same situation where he's wearing maybe some leggings and a crop top or, you know, yeah. then all of a sudden, people are looking at him a certain kind of way that they don't necessarily look at me. And maybe that's just my lived experience where I'm at, maybe that's my certain community. But from my perception, I think that guys actually have a lot harder than we do. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's because of misogyny because there's this expectation of men to be so butch, yes. so masculine, mm -hmm. that when they don't live up to this expectation, they're judged really harshly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that like, I mean, I, I think I was agreeing with what you guys were saying earlier, especially from like a social perspective. Like, I think lesbians, like we're so few and far between. We have like barely any social spaces, barely any bars, like especially from like a social, like meeting other lesbians in the real world. There's is, not a lot like, of lesbians definitely, like, that in is, the real world. It's shrinking like every what, single day. Way more um, many bi But I do think that like, um, I, the re only reason I'm gonna step forward is I think that uh, it all really goes back to like you were saying, misogyny and like patriarchy. Like gay men, I think are thought of as being like aligned more with women and I think we are somewhat more aligned with men because we're attracted to women or non-men. Um, and I think it all or goes back to like patriarchy and still, misogyny. Okay. And I think that like that hurts all of us. It hurts gay men, it hurts lesbians. Um, I think that like not to a race, I think, like you, I, like you guys are both saying, like being masculine and being butch and like identifying, and, and lesbians ha used to have to dress that way, mm -hmm. to identify each other mm -hmm. and like see each other in the real world. So like I don't want to erase like how hard it is to be like visibly queer. Um, but I think that patriarchy harms us all. It harms gay men, it harms lesbians, it harms everyone. Slay! People we because found the real enemy, we guys. We have to align ourselves patriarchy, like, within for patriarchy sure. to like, be safe. <laughs> and I think that, you know, maybe we're non threatening to men in some ways because we all like women, or, you know, but gay men are not non threatening because they don't, they're not liking women or whatever, but it's, it's all harmful because it's patriarchy. All right, so that was kind of a lot. Um, I will say again, I did agree more with the liberal talking points there than I did the conservative, although I do see like where the conservatives can be coming from in a lot of the senses, not all of them. 
but just uh, some of them. And then vice versa, I didn't agree with everything the liberal people said. Uh, but I do, I'm more intrigued on what you guys thought about it. I want to know on all the talking points what you thought because I'm so intrigued by politics. The fact that like us as a collective all have the main goal of like making society better. We just have different ideas about how to go about it. And I want to know how you think we should go about it. Are you, are you conservative? Are you liberal? Are you somewhere in between? Um, are you gay? Are you, are you gay? If you're watching me, you might be a little gay. I don't know, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Again, almost at 5 million subscribers, absolutely crazy. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do a political survey test and just so you guys can see where I'm actually at on the fucking graph thing. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.